The Panthers are currently investigating a video that was recently posted on Center Tail and May's Instagram account. The video reportedly shows May inside a sports car, driving at speeds of up to 90 km per hour in a residential area. NRL's integrity unit has been made aware of the footage, which was shared on social media over a week ago. In the video, May is seen driving an Audi R8 and reaching a top speed of 96 km per hour, as indicated by the speedometer in the car. It's worth noting that the speed limits in New South Wales residential areas are typically 50 km per hour. Additionally, the footage appears to have been captured near a school. Notably, May is not being accused of any wrongdoing related to the driving, or ownership of the vehicle. During the video, after reaching its top speed, a passenger can be heard exclaiming, holy moly bra, while the vehicle quickly brakes, eliciting a gasp from another occupant. <laughs> Penrith club officials were made aware of the video's existence on Sunday afternoon, coinciding with the club's bye week. As of now, it remains uncertain whether May will face any consequences for posting the footage. The Panthers are scheduled to play against the Tigers in round 7, but whether May's involvement in this incident will affect his participation is yet to be determined. In my opinion, Taylor May's personal life off the field should be kept private, however, Going over the speed limit in residential areas is reckless and irresponsible. He has a responsibility to respect the law and also his club, that pays him big money to play and represent the people of Penrith. It's a privilege to play in the NRL so such acts shouldn't be tolerated. I'm predicting the Penrith Panthers management to take action and suspend him for one game to set a good example. What are your thoughts? Should Talon may be suspended? Let me know your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more of your daily dose of rugby league. Thank you.